I'm going to survive the next 100 days in a time loop, with the only way to escape being to complete 5 challenges including beating the game. Here we are, day 1. I started off the first day by getting some stone tools. I'm only going to have one day to gather supplies before the time loop starts. All of the time loop rules will follow the movie Groundhog Day. If you haven't seen it, you should go watch it. After only 400 blocks, we found a good biome. I'm sorry about my weapons, sir. They have a mind of their own. <sighs> this is what I have to start with for the rest of the 100 days. I started off day two with some filet mignon and cooking some iron. Then I made a door for my ugly little house. How nice. I decided to do some exploring, but ended up just messing around with new features. I haven't played this update before. I also found this lava pool through the sound of Smokey the Bear raging. I tried making a speedrun portal, but ended up just botching it. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I forgot to record for most of day three, but shamelessly slept with these three villagers. They won't remember it anyways. Day four, I started with the usual stuff grabbed some water and flint, then made my portal taller as a fashion statement. Definitely not a mistake. Then I got a little reckless in the nether and ended up digging into this wall until the morning. Day 5, I noticed that it took 4 gravel every time to give me one piece of flint. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. I then went to the nether and this happened. Pause. You're probably writing an angry comment right now. But in Groundhog Day... Days 6, 7, and 8 were just more nether exploration with nothing new. I was beginning to feel discouraged because I couldn't find another fortress or bastion within hundreds of blocks and I needed to beat the game in one day. So I made the decision to use a new nether. Day 9 I checked out the new nether. There's a fortress right by spawn, and if we go over this way there's a bastion. I might actually have a chance of beating the game now. Day 10 my recording was paused, so you get day 11. I've gotten just slightly better at speedrun portals. I tried trading with piglins but got shot in the face by an angry customer. This is America. Day 12, it was very loud in the bastion. Not much happened on day 13, but I found this enderman that might be of use in the future. Day 14, I got some ender pearls and blaze rods, but when I got back, it was dark, so I went to bed. The day counter says it's day 16, but it's actually day 15. Deal with it. It gets fixed on day 19 anyways, you can wait. Nothing really happened on days 15 or 16. On day 17, though, I realized that there were actually more piglins at spawn than in the bastion, so I grabbed some gold then ran back, only to realize that most of them had already despawned. I was able to get some ender pearls and blaze rods, though, and set out for the stronghold. Then I didn't find it for the next two days. Why do I have an addiction to this game? Yay, the day counter is fixed. I was actually able to find the stronghold today. Took me a while to find the portal room, though. Day 20, I realized that I hadn't really let myself enjoy being in a time loop. So I headed over to the first challenge, beating an iron golem in a 1v1. Oh, I've always wanted to do this without fear of consequences. Wait, why is this guy chill? Alright, here we go. Come on, battle of the century. Challenge 1, failed. Day 21, I gave myself 20 minutes to make the best house possible, which is challenge number two. Okay, I gotta grab plenty of wood. Just craft it all into planks, we don't have time for style. I'm gonna have to make this significantly smaller than I wanted, but that's alright. In theory, there would be a backyard here, but we don't have time for that. Oh no, I ran out of wood! Go, go, go! Yeah, we won't have time for a roof. And now it's time for the grand house tour. If we go straight ahead, we can see the living room. And if we turn to the left, there's the kitchen, dining room. We got a nice little hallway here. In here is a little bedroom with a closet. And if we go over to the other side, we have the master bedroom and the master bathroom. Challenge number two is complete. <laughs> After day 21, I went on vacation and came back with an absolute skill issue. 
For the next few days, I tried finding a good bastion route and ended up dying every single time. That was until day 29 whenever I found a route that actually worked. Yes! I died at the fortress, but that didn't even matter. I already had a game plan. So I spent the next few days experimenting with the Bastion route. On day 35, I even made it to the Nether Fortress before getting stabbed in the back by a Wither Skeleton. But I would call conquering the Bastion complete. Day 36, I got the blaze rods but forgot where the stronghold was. Day 37 was annoying. Day 38, I thought that I survived but got shot in the back by a blaze. Then nothing really developed until day 44 when this happened. Wait, what? There's no way. And I had thought that finding ancient debris was going to be one of the hardest challenges and I had just found it sitting in a chest. For any of you who are wondering, I still put on doors every day. Today I got pretty close to the end, but this zombie killed me while I was trying to kill an enderman. Day 47, I actually jumped in my chair. Ah! Day 48, I was being stupid. Over the lava and through soul sand to grandfather's bastion we go. I've done this route a thousand times and yet I still suck at this game. Day 50 I accidentally hit a piglin so I towered up. And this is the strongest blaze I've ever seen. No, that's a lot of damage. Watching all of the piglins funnel in is always very satisfying. I tried using a nether portal to go to the stronghold but ended up spawning in a cave and couldn't find it anyways. Over the next few days I just died a lot. Then on days 54 and 55, I died in basically the same way in the same place. Then this piglin brute just walked over the hole. Day 57, I decided I'd go on a bit of a side quest, you could say. Hey, don't judge me, it's therapeutic. I've made it my personal mission to kill every villager in this village. Killing children is always the most fun. Why just kill one village when you could kill two? You know, there's a lesson about ambition in here somewhere. You're gonna have to be the one to find it, though. Oh, I didn't get to murder the whole village. A58, I just did some exploring in a new direction. There's some pretty cool generation over here. I realized I wasn't really getting the Minecraft experience, so on day 59 I went mining. I even found this mine shaft out of pure luck. It was pretty fun exploring the place. I found a spider spawner that I'll never be able to use. The day ended very anticlimactically. I did another little side quest by killing all of the animals in my area, and I gotta say, it was all very fun. Oh, thank you for coming to my butcher shop, would you like some meat, sir? Oh, and you brought your friend. Thank you for the business. Alright, enough side quests. Let's beat the game. Oh, wait. I didn't get enough ender pearls. Day 62, I got very close to beating the game, but the sun came up. The same thing happened on day 65, and it's starting to become a bit of a problem. The thing is, whenever I give them all of my gold, they don't give me enough ender pearls back to beat the game, which does not make me a very happy shuriken because then I have to run around looking for Endermen full well knowing that the first one won't drop an Enderpearl. Day 66 I got jump scared. Day 67 I looked up the other gold locations for bridge bastions, but there was only one extra gold block. Well that was a huge help. This time I died from just being reckless. Day 68 started off pretty normal, but once I got to the bastion, this happened. Yeah! Yeah!
Then I had the same problem with the sun rising too quickly. Ah, uh, day 69. What a wonderful... What? Oh, what? <laughs> Iron! Iron! Who are you? Are you the, are you the guy that I stole from? Oh. What's that? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, wait, wait, Iron. hold on. Iron. Hold on. Iron. Hold on, I haven't seen another human Iron. in so long. What? I haven't seen another human in so My long. My iron! Oh. <laughs> you took it! You took it! Easy, man. Give it back! Give it back! I didn't Give take your iron. iron. Yes, you did. Did you take my iron? Who are you? Do you have iron? Uh, I've got a little bit. What do you want? I just kind of, you know, want to beat the game. There's this uh, place down here. Like, real far down here. If you jump down there, you beat the game. Ah, uh, no! Iron! <laughs> I need to find more iron. Oh, you're back. Huh? It it's you again. Iron! Where? Yeah, here, here, have some, here, have some iron. Alright, so what's happening? So, yeah. MTV boy joined. So we made our way over to the portal while he tried to prove his worth. I'm helping, I swear. Alright, we just gotta go over this way, dodge the gas, dodge this piglin up here, dodge that second piglin. Have you lost me? I'm two and a half hearts and being chased down. <laughs> this is what I have to dodge every day. I ended up losing him and then getting stabbed by this piglin. He wasn't there for day 71 for some reason, but I got ganged up on by these mobs. You know, I haven't seen MTB Boy for several days. I think he might actually be gone. Today I got so close to beating the game, but I couldn't find an Enderman and I didn't end up having enough Eyes of Ender to complete the portal. Day 76, I messed up the speedrun portal in the most hilarious way possible. I must have just been really tired this morning or something. Day 77 was a bit better. Nothing really went wrong, but the sun inevitably rose before I could beat the game. I swear, Piglin Brutes are the worst addition since Phantoms. Then again, it's not really like you're supposed to deal with them in the early game. Day 79, it just got dark too quickly. Day 80, I was running over to the Bastion. <laughs> Where have you been the past few days? Uh, I don't really want to talk about it, alright? You were doing iron again, weren't you? Maybe. Just give me it. Hold on. Let's go to the Bastion. I can get you a whole lot of iron nuggets, alright? Iron nuggets? Yeah, you know, like, there's chicken nuggets, then there's iron nuggets. <gasps> can you get them at McDonald's? No, but we can get them from Piglins. Ah! There's a dude with, with an axe. Do you have the iron? Where's the big dude with the axe? Come on out, I'll, I'll toss you some dirt blocks to- No, oh, don't worry, I'll just be hop away from him. Two seconds later. Ah! 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 Day 80 when I got shot into lava. I had an idea where, because I can't get enough ender pearls, what if you stayed in the overworld while I went to the nether? and got ender pearls from enderman over the next several days we tried this strategy but either i would die in the nether or he wouldn't get ender pearls but on day 89 you were a real fan. there's an enderman here oh my god this is the random one it is yeah i guess so... it'd be disappointing too oh. no Day 90, I was really starting to feel the pressure of the dragon fight, since the end was only 10 days away. And if I don't beat the dragon, then I'll be stuck in a time loop forever. Day 93, I died prematurely. You know it was bad, he knew it but had, so he shot at the sun with a gun. Day 95 was so <laughs> freaking scary. Not even close. Oh my. Day 96 was so disappointing. Uh, your honor, how am I supposed to get that? Oh god, bro, this is the closest we've ever been. <laughs> Day 97, it was really coming down to the wire. But then this happened. Strongholds are the most- Yeah, I found an ender pearl in a chest. <gasps> Hold on. Alright. Portal is open. Oh, here we go. I have no idea where to go, so I'm just gonna be riding around in my boat. The dragon is perching. Oh, and I didn't get there in time. Okay, I'm just... 
I'm really here. smart. We're going to be meleeing these end crystals. He did kill you. Yeah. In this moment, I really wish Spectate World no. actually was real. We had to let loose after a failure like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesse, where are we? Yo, Mr. White, I, I think we're in a cave, Mr. White. No, Jesse, focus. Wait, well, we're not in a cave. We're in a bouncy house. Day 99. We could actually, like, beat this pretty quickly. Like, it's only just started the night. Don't speak too soon. Yeah, out of my own stupidity and inability yeah, to one cycle, Maybe we failed I once again. On oh. <sighs> Day 100. Time to get serious, boys. And I got distracted because my mom wanted me to try on pants. This is how dreams die, kids. You know, this may have not ended the way that we wanted it to, but if you want to see more content like this, check out this video where we literally all killed each other. All of my friends and me. Go watch it.